Okay, here we are in Ilminster. We've just set up, and this is the house we're working on at the back. Just set up some ramps for the wheelbarrows. <coughs> It's down the way through here. And this is what we're doing. We've got to take out this lump of concrete. That's right which goes from there, down there, down here, all this, down, because this, uh, the owner here, believes the previous <coughs> owner used this to fill up with building waste. That's the only reason she thinks he put that in there. So we could find just about anything here. So we just have a look from the top. <coughs> taking out here and here estimate about four four and a half tons maybe of concrete if it is concrete under there but it could be anything and that is another infill there but she's leaving that for the moment because you can see the original base was down there so that was built up Okay, we'll have a look at it later. Okay, just a little update, we've just stopped for some lunch. Well, Mike has, I'm going to carry on. No, I might have a sandwich. Right, just see how far we've got, it's ten past one. Right, we're finding all sorts of things, different levels, different this. I think we can understand what's happened. Couldn't quite work out what was going on. We thought this was going to be full of rubbish. Well, at some point, some of the the garden back wall or the the retaining wall of the garden would have been this. Is my finger gone? Oh, there we go. This wall here, and it would have been that height. So the view from the kitchen window here would have been a wall that ended there so people would have just been looking at a wall so somebody in the past has put, added that terrace there and all the soil has gone down into this bit and then And this bit, and they just raised, and, uh, got rid of it that way instead of <coughs> getting rid of it. So, but we're hit, hitting different periods of concrete, a bit there, one level there, one level there. I was using a mattock to get this soil off, and fortunately, I decided to get the shovel off to do the fine bits. And what's under there? A live cable going to the shed which is unfused it's just going off the back of a socket so and there's a socket no fuse or anything there yeah it has got circuit breakers in the house but it would have been a bit of a flash there and uh, probably a melted mattock tip so a bit of luck there really so that's that, we'll probably have a look at it tomorrow, although tomorrow is going to be wet, so I don't know, we're going to cope with walking through the house with all this soil on our feet. Okay, that's it for the moment. Okay, we've finished in Ilminster, uh, we've revealed some stuff here, There's some sort of, we've cut away some sort of land drain coming from next door, it doesn't seem to be operating. The lady 
uh, the customer's been next door and it disappears into the garden, it's a sloping garden similar to this. So it's possibly an old land drain, because there is drainage here going to look down. So we've cut it off because this is all going to be, now we've revealed this. Uh, she wants us to go ahead, we're going to just survey it and get drawings done. But the finished level is going to be here now. And then at some stage we're going to be taking all that out and half of the ter next terrace. So she'll have a clear patio area at the correct height at the back of the house. And we'll be creating new steps, possibly uh, iron, cast iron steps up here. Um, undecided yet. So